Ladies and gentlemen, and all the lovers around the world, I want to talk about the one I love. I know a lot of times you forget how they take good care of you. But tonight, I just want to express the way I feel. Oh, baby, funny how things have changed in my life now. Whether near or far, I want to be where you are. And you're like a rose that blooms in my garden. Innocent and sweet, my love.
life forever that I have waited for you in a world of disappointment one thing is true God has blessed me and he's blessed you too in a world of lonely people I found you so take my hand and hold me close and don't let me go you for me and me for you together we were one strangers all by ourselves Living, living alone with no one else And here you are And it's so, so sweet for you together we'll make one dearly beloved we are all gathered here today to celebrate the relationship of Shanice Janelle and Casey Ryan and be witnesses and supporters of their commitment to share life with one another. Together we are a group of the important people in their lives and they brought us here to publicly recognize that, they, that we've all played a part in sharing in their love commitment today. So speaking of the important people in their lives, no more people that are important than their family. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? We do. We do. He's ringing. Thank you, brothers. You want to wrap it around? Marriage gives, gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. And they let each other know how much they mean to each other, no matter how much one may snore at night <laughs> or how much the other spends at the mall on the weekend. Marriage is telling that person you love them and you're not going anywhere. It's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. A good marriage is built on the foundation of this commitment. And marriage, it's the little things that are big. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's never being able not to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's standing and facing the world together and speaking words of appreciation to each other and demonstrating gratitude towards one another. It's giving each other atmosphere in which you can each grow. It's a common search for the good and beautiful. It's not only marrying the right partner, it's about being the right partner. This road has brought Shanice and Casey here today. And that road may not have been the smoothest, but they are here to show, to show us all that through it all, it strengthened their love and didn't weaken it. Let us pray. Bless their marriage, oh God, as they begin their journey down the road of life together. We don't know what lies ahead on the road. We twist and turns and bends, 
but please help them to make the best of whatever may come their way. Help them to continue to enjoy each other as they did when they first met. Help them to realize, God, that nothing nor no one is perfect and to look for the good in all things and all people, including themselves. Help them to respect each other's, their likes, their dislikes, opinions, beliefs, hopes, dreams, and fears, even though they may not understand them. Help them to learn from each other and help them to grow with each other mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Help them to realize that no matter what happens to them, they will hold on to each other and know that things will have a way of working out for the good. Help them to create a peaceful, stable home of love as their foundation and they can build their lives together. But most of all, God, help them to keep the torch of love that they now share so that their loving example may pass the light of love to their children and to their children's children. Amen. Amen. We will now have a declaration to him by Kathleen Washington. To my soon to be husband, on this day when we were wed, I am bursting with pride at the knowledge you chose me to be forever by your side. We are meant to be, and on our wedding day, we, we will be united as one. I decided to marry you for these reasons. You're kind, you're intelligent, you're beautiful, you make me feel beautiful, and you make me believe in love. Today, my sorrows become your sorrows. My joys become your joys. My hopes become your hopes, and your family becomes my family. On this day, I have three wishes. To grow old with you, to never forget the love we feel now, even when angry, to ascend to the heaven, and if we should fall, that we are wrapped in each other's arms. On this day, my betrothed, I am standing at the altar dressed in white, with love in my eyes, a smile on my face, an extra beat in my heart, with anticipation of saying, I do, and spending a lifetime making unforgettable memories with you. On this day, a dream has come true, a promise fulfilled. My best friend and longtime companion and I will become husband and wife, for today is a great day. Yes. One I shall surely cherish for the rest of my life. Your love, Shanice. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we will now have a declaration to her from Daryl Oliphant. Today, Shanice, I have tried to put into words what my heart feels. You are a diamond, a gem, so special, rare, and big, the real deal. You're fierce, strong, and so much fun. Your love warms and radiates through me like the heat of the midday sun. Shanice, your beautiful smile and sassy charm stole my heart. This thing we share has been magical from the very start. Two years ago, I asked you to marry me. No longer living alone and thinking of self, everything became about us and our family. We have faced obstacles along the way Patience, friendship, and commitment has brought us to this moment, our wedding day. Today, neither of us are perfect, nor expected to be. Marriage requires loving each other unconditionally. Today, I swear, I will promise and say I do, even take a vow as your husband, to always love, honor, and protect you. Each new day, we will live without a promise of, of tomorrow, Understanding a time will come when life shall bring on its own burden or sorrow. Today, I promise to give my all, even on our bad days. Remembrance the day, the importance of showing love in a hundred different ways. Today, I pray to contain my emotions stored deep inside. I'm filled with nerves, joy, and excitement. 
waiting to catch the essence of you, my gorgeous bride. Today, you will take my hand as Mrs. Shanice Allen Mitchell, my wife. You are my best friend, my ride or die, my partner in crime, my right hand, and that's for life. All right. Shanice, they already know each and every detail has long been planned and well thought out. Today, it's already perfect. So enjoy yourself without any worry, fear, or doubt. Babe, your once in a lifetime love is at this altar, waiting patiently for you. So grateful to God, today, our fairy tale will come true. It's all right, all right. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> We will now have the reciting of the vows. As I speak these to you, please recite after me. Casey? Yes. Um, I, Casey Ryan. I, Casey Ryan. Take you, Shanice Janelle. Take you, Shanice Janelle. To be my wife. To be my wife. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today. And love you today. Tomorrow and forever. Tomorrow and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. What may, what may come. What may come. I will always be there. I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I've given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. So help me God. So help me God. Shanice. Repeat after me. I, Shanice Janelle. I, Shanice Janelle. Take you, Casey Ryan. Take you, Casey Ryan. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today. I will cherish our friendship and love you today. Tomorrow and forever. Tomorrow and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come. Whatever may come. I will always be there. I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. So help me God. So help me God. We will now prepare for the pouring of the sand. The bride and the groom today. Some people say 
as you combine the sand together, your lives are also joined together as one family. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will your marriage and family be. Do we have the rings? Um, for Casey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shanice and Casey will now exchange rings to symbolize their commitment. Rings are derived from humble beginnings of imperfect metals to create something striking where there was once nothing at all. It is customarily worn on the ring finger that is the only finger with the vein running directly to the heart. The wearing of the rings is a visible outward sign that they have committed themselves to one another. Casey, please take Shanice's hand and repeat these words. I give you this ring, I give you this ring. as a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. And for all the days to come. And for all the days to come. Where it is a sign of what we have promised on this day. Where there is a sign that we promise on this day. And know that my love is present. And know that my love is present. Even when I'm not. Even when I'm not. Please put the ring on her finger. Denise, please take Casey by the hand and repeat these words. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. And for all the days to come. And for all the days to come. Where it is a sign of what we have promised on this day. Where it is a sign of what we have promised on this day. And know that my love is present. And know that my love is present. Even when I'm not. Even when I'm not. Please place the ring on his finger. All right, now it's time to make some magic happen. <laughs> Shanice and Casey, you have professed your love by exchanging your vows. You have symbolized your commitment by exchanging rings. And with all this, there's just one more question I need to ask each of you before it's time to celebrate. Shanice, do you take Casey to be your husband? I do. To live together in the covet of marriage. Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, and be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Casey, do you take Shanice to be your wife, to love in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, Honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others and to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Take each other by the hand. To make a relationship work, it will take love. And this is the core to your marriage and that's why you're here today. It will take trust to know that your hearts are truly going to want the best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn to grow together. It will take faith to go forward without knowing exactly where the future may turn you. It will take commitment to hold to this journey that you have both pledged today. And by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Casey, you may salute your bride.
It is my great honor and privilege to be the first to present Mr. and Mrs. Casey Mitchell. Angelina Battles. Bring 
bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Come on. Bring them out, bring them out, hey. Bring them out, bring them out, yeah. Bring them out, bring them out, hey. Bring them out, bring them out, hey. bring them out. Bring them out. Yeah. Coming live from the VIP, heard the nightlife, lost life, what that mean? Most of the feds in the state wanna see my knee. The whole city got pissed, heard he got three. That other rapper got a hip and shout it, he mad at me. Who's taking the city on fire as soon as he got free? The king back now, Rawls don't even know how to act now. Hit the club, strippers getting naked before I sat down. Still ball, the money stack, tall the shack now. Still push a button and let the roof on the back down. I'm on the road doing shows to my Mac down. Mississippi to Philly, Albuquerque to chat, 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 chat. Next week. And and Patricia love. Jackson is brought about Michael Abbey. Touch it, bring it, hey, this, watch it, oh, it, 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 Get low, Banks! We know that I got a flu in the nobody can hold this clip. All them hoes I they probably own my dick. Next we have Jennifer Allen escorted by Nicholas Miller.
ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? for everybody. Welcome to Hollywood, baby. Let's get you. Uh-huh. Let's not even talk about it. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh-huh. I see you jealousy as you watch. I see you watch you, baby. It's all good. It's kind of sexy. I love it. How you like it? Cause I have got, got to make this stop People often warn me that the fame ain't for the faint of heart It'll change though, so since had enough for you It's a stranger, when your thing starts It's a chain reaction, love promotion like when it train departs Stranger, things have happened, rapping, stacking Platinum, platinum, born in Brooklyn, got a place in Manhattan Going back to Brooklyn to escape the madness Your friends is, Chris and Gwyneth And your girl is more famous than you, Venice Get all your windows tinted, keep your eyes squinted It's gonna flash any minute The music bears like musical chairs Right where you're standing when the music starts spinning And I'm like, you're blinded by the action I need that I need more Blinded by the action I need that I need more Alright, let's give him one more round of applause. Right? So lovely. I've never seen such a face. There are no words that can explain the feeling she gives me every time. That she smiles, and I look in her eyes I fell in love with her There's no one that can And I thought I'd be so lucky I want to make her mind forever I've been far from perfect She's had plenty reason to leave Ooh. But somehow she forgives me From the life I used to lead I never, I never imagined could be the one to proceed see someone as beautiful as she And every moment that I live and I breathe She makes me so sweet, so sweet. I fell in love with Ooh. And can I write to her to her
All right, y'all, let's give them a round of applause. That was beautiful. Chocolate ballerinas, Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell.
again, what a beautiful event has been tonight and every other event that you have had for your union. It's been beautiful, everything. First class, everything. Shanice. I wrote something down. Just a little nervous. I don't want to mix my words. What a great addition you will and have had made to the Mitchell family. You bring all the great qualities of a Mitchell woman. You're caring, nurturing, and most of all, the loyalty and the sass that you bring has the character of a Mitchell woman through and through. Since I've known you, you have only been loving, sister-like, and our friendship over the past two, three years that I've known you has grown. Love you to death. And I'm glad that you're addition to this family. You'll make great, great, great strides in everything that you do. I appreciate you so much. Uncle Casey, <laughs> Uncle Casey. <laughs> We're like brothers and words definitely can't explain how much you mean to me. Small side note, two years ago I was small, my, lost my life and you have been there almost every, every night when I opened up my eyes and it's been a loving and blessing thing. I really appreciate you for that, and I don't even know if I ever told you that before. All right? The Mitchell family have been waiting for guidance, leadership, responsibility, and everything else that comes with it. And you have definitely been that. When I look at you two, I think of family. And bringing this family together into the future is gonna be such a great thing. Every time we're with you, there's always love. Every time anybody's around you, you show them love. Casey, you're fair, you're honest, you give great advice. And I love the fact that you became a leader in this family. Shanice, this is what you're getting. You're getting leadership. You're getting quality. You're getting support. You're getting protection. So this is what he's going to offer to you, okay? So with love, respect, I love y'all to death. Appreciate everything you have done. Don't ever think I don't forget every time I opened up my eyes, y'all was there sitting, okay? Peace and love, all right? Thanks, everybody. Hi, family. Tonight, I'm being paid by the Mitchells, just so y'all know. So I need laughter, tears, and applause so I can get paid. Can y'all help me out? As the Mation of Honor, I'm truly blessed to be standing here tonight with this privilege of roasting, I mean toasting, Mr. and Mrs. Casey Mitchell. Aren't they a beautiful couple? Don't they look absolutely amazing? Can I ask y'all a question? Is it legal? to admire and look up to somebody whose diapers you changed. I don't want to go to jail, but uh, Officer Allen, am I safe? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all, a comedian, I'm not, as y'all can tell, and I guess I'm not going to get paid. So credit doctor, <laughs> the A1 credit doctor, uh, I need a little plastic surgery when this is over, okay? Because I'm hurting. I'm hurting real bad. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Shanice's aunt, but we're more like sisters. And 
I think I know everything, but truthfully, Shanice knows everything. Right, Casey? <laughs> All right, you better get that answer right. We don't want no Norman tomorrow, Casey K. All right, let me keep it serious. What's meant to be is meant to be, and nothing can stand in the way of destiny. I don't know if y'all know, but Nene was 11 years old when she told her best friend Chantel, who's also a matron of honor, that her wedding was going to be epic. Can we say her wedding is epic? Can I also say that Chantel and her now husband Dante introduced Shanice to Casey some, I ain't going to tell how many years ago. And guess what? From that friendship, we're standing here today. When she met Casey, Shanice said to me, Stacy, I'm going to marry that man. And guess what? She has today married this man. And Casey K, you know, as you say to me, Auntie, you already know. When you and Shanice met, you set her heart on fire. And that spark has never gone out. And I have to say that. She loves you. We love you. We love you from way back to now. You know what I'm saying? We family. And we accept the Mitchells. And we hope that the Mitchells accept the Allens. Because we're one big happy family. And what I can say is this couple right here, they about positivity unity and family and and guess what their motto is we work hard so we can play harder and guess what i watched my niece accomplish everything that she set her mind to. This is a young woman of purpose who lives her life on purpose. And what I can say is I was there for every single milestone that she accomplished. And it broke my heart because one thing was missing. And the one thing that was missing was you, Mr. Mitchell. And what I can say is you've made her the happiest girl in the world, although she's a woman now. <laughs> Nephew, you know I love you. And it's not just one-sided. I'm not just talking to Shanice. I'm talking to you as well. You know I love you. I love you. And I'm placing my baby girl in your care. And I'm entrusting that you're going to take care of her heart and love her as you've been loving her. And Shanice, you know, last week when me and you was in Texas picking up that beautiful dress, I said, Nee, are you sure you ready to get married? And without a doubt, Casey, she looked at me and said, Auntie, yes, I am. And we're here today. We love you. You're married. And I just want to leave you with a couple things. And this is for both of y'all. Because you know, I get with both of y'all. Because I'm the keep it real aunt. You understand? A perfect marriage is between two imperfect people who refuse to give up on one another. So, when you're right, keep your mouth shut. But when you're wrong, fess up, own it, admit it. So, all of your ups and downs can come from your bedroom. So, without further ado, I wish you joy and happiness, but above all this, I wish you love. Hey. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Casey Mitchell. Shalom. Raise your glasses.
Let's go. 